Okay, so for Verse and Devotion today, um, it's coming from Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. And I was reading over this for a little bit, and I was like, how has this got anything to do with judgment? <laughs> but after I read over it a few times, I was like, ah. <laughs> so, anyway, Romans chapter 12, verse 2 says, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. <clears throat> now, if I go back and I read verse 1 and 2 together, it will all tie in. But the test is the, the judgment part, okay? So it says, Therefore I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. And verse 2 says, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Okay, so verse 2 talks, starts talking about, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. We know the more you, you study the scriptures, the more you get into the word <clears throat> and understand it and apply it to your life, you find out that as a Christian, you are not supposed to be uh, a part of this world. You're in it, but you're supposed to be separate from it. You're supposed to be a light in the darkness. You're supposed to look different than the people that aren't Christians. It says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Every day we're inundated with junk. I mean junk. Spiritually bad stuff. And we are supposed to train our minds to not go there. Okay? And the only way you can do that is by making good judgment calls. By making good spiritual judgment calls. By saying, okay, Holy Spirit, help me. By reading the Word. By transforming your mind by renewing it with God, love, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, self-control, okay? Those things. Um, it says, then you will be able to test. There's your judgment, okay? Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. The more you're working on your judgment calls on the way you're supposed to live your life according to the word and what God wants you to do, the better you're going to know his perfect will. Okay? And that is a judgment thing. That's where you have to sit down and go, okay, I'm not going to watch this garbage. I'm not going to listen to this garbage. I'm not going to gossip. I'm not going to slander. I'm not going to have malice. I'm not going, you know, you get the point. But that's what this is. You have to do this every day. You have to think, okay, and then don't hang around with people like that. And you'll be like, oh, here you go, sir, you're judging. Yeah, it's a judgment call. you got to figure out what's going to help you and what's not going to help you. It's obvious, okay? It is not that difficult to realize when things are going to drag you down. It's not. So if somebody says that, you know, they can't do, like, they can't go out drinking anymore because it, it messes them up spiritually, they can't do it because they know they can't handle it. Um, it's just, it's a judgment call. You will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will, because you are being renewed by the transforming of your mind, and it's awesome, and it's a good way to do things. That's what the Bible says. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. So there you go. Hopefully that one sticks with you. Romans 12, 2.